source of inspiration is utterly, entirely China. We're based in Hong Kong, which, as a matter of fact, is China. And 97% uh, and of my colleagues are Chinese. So, you know, uh, and uh, as far as our distribution is concerned, 70% of our distribution is in China. Uh, we have 45 boutiques. Uh, more than 30 are actually in uh, greater China. So it is, by all means, uh, a, a Chinese brand. But, you know, what we're doing, nobody's done it before. Branding China in luxury was contradictory a few years ago. But it seems that it's working. Um, uh, our number one customers in the world now are Chinese. Uh, they just passed the Americans last month. Now, you're a luxury brand that celebrates the fact that your products are made in China. Now, is that mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. seen as undesirable, unappealing? How do you reconcile selling products for hundreds of dollars that aren't mm -hmm. made by European artisans? Well, it's about time that uh, the Chinese artisan be recognized, to be honest. Today, uh, most of the garmental business is produced in China, to be honest, and, uh, and, and we are making no exception to it. Um, what will change maybe is that China is now becoming more and more exp expensive in terms of production and we want to give ourselves the, the freedom to, uh, to, 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 to produce elsewhere if need be. China, as you know, uh, is growing. Uh, the priority of the government here is to uh, uh, get people more uh, wealthy. Uh, they, are, they have clearly indicated in their five years plan that they want to double the salaries in the next five years and they will do so which is great news. So you're saying essentially that uh, as production costs go up in China, you might look to produce your products elsewhere? From our point of view, it doesn't matter where it's produced. What is important is how it's designed, who is designing it, whether it meets the people's uh, expectation, the consumer's expectation. Where it's produced is a no-brainer anymore. It's not an issue. But I understand that uh, some brands, DNA, which have attached their, actually brands which have attached their DNA to uh, a, 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 an artisan skill from their part of the world, whether it's Italy and France, uh, are, are doing so, and it's very legitimate, and they should keep on doing so. For us, uh, Shanghai Tang, we're free to actually produce anywhere we want. We happen to produce more, almost 100% in China, but it doesn't mean that we will keep on producing China if China becomes crazy expensive.